Hey guys, Colin here, and welcome back to the channel where the Bible and critical thinking meet to give you real Christian commentary about the things that matter. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get into the video. So Jesse Duplantis is a prosperity gospel preacher from Louisiana who is constantly twisting scriptures for his own benefit. He doesn't seem to care about what the Bible actually says. Rather, he simply cares about how the Bible can advance his unbiblical agenda. As proof of this, I have chosen to review a clip of Jesse Duplantis here where he talks about giving money away to churches. Watch this. Now, talk about me. Why am I blessed and I've never had a deficit in 34 years? Because I never changed my tithe into alms. I never changed my seed into alms. And I never changed my first fruit into alms. Because you see, if you do that, then the rate of exchange goes back to dollar for dollar. That's why people don't believe in prosperity. They took their tithe, they took their first written seed, they made it honest because, you see, they went to a church like this one. Jews, get a shot of this whole church. Get a shot of the, all this stuff in there. And people say, they come here and they say, boy, that judge of the planet, he's doing good. And we ain't used to give our tithe over there. We went to a church and they need it more. Uh-oh! That's why some people can make all kind of money and broke three years later. Because they will move not by obedience, not by generosity, not by faith and reward, but by compassion and sympathy. So in case you had a hard time understanding his incoherent babble there, I'll spell it out for you and respond to it using three biblical points. Number one. So in the first clip I just shared with you, Jesse says that the reason he's blessed with lots of money and lots of resources is that he doesn't turn his first fruits or his tithes into alms. And it's not always easy to understand what he means by this. In fact, it's really hard to understand what he says in general. What he's really saying here is that you should see the money you give away to your church as an investment rather than as alms. And alms, for those who don't know, are what you call money or resources that you give away out of charity to poor people. In other words, Jesse is basically saying here that you should see the money you give away as an investment in future blessings for yourself, rather than as a charitable act that serves another person. And there's so much wrong with this, I don't even know where to start. So let's just start at the very beginning, with the first quote in the clip where he says, quote, I never changed my first fruits into alms, because you see, when you do that, the rate of exchange goes back to dollar for dollar, end quote. So again, like I said, Jesse Duplantis wants to really hammer home the point that your offerings are given as investments. And these investments will reap future benefits and blessings for you in return. That's why you're giving it in the first place. That's why he's so concerned with what he calls, quote, the rate of exchange. He fundamentally sees giving money away as an exchange, rather than simply as an act of service. Contrast this with Luke 6.34, which says, quote, And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount, end quote. The Bible makes it very clear that those who give while focusing on the rate of exchange are not giving with a proper heart. But yet here stands Jesse Duplantis before a huge group of professing Christians, telling them that all of their offerings and giving away of money is all about what they can get back in exchange. What a selfish and deeply sinful way of practicing Christian generosity. I wish that I could tell you it gets better, folks, but unfortunately, it only gets worse. And this brings me to point number two. Let's go ahead and watch the second section of the clip again. Watch this. If you do that, then the rate of exchange goes back to dollar for dollar. That's why people don't believe in prosperity. They took their tithe, they took their first written the seed, they made it honest because, you see, they went to a church like this one. Jews, get a shot of this whole church. Get a shot of the, all this stuff in there. And people say, they come here and they say, boy, that judge of the planet, he's doing good. And we ain't used to give our tithe over there. We went to a church and they need it more. Uh-oh! So he says that the reason people don't believe in prosperity is that they went to a church like Jesse Duplantis' church and they decided to give their money instead to a smaller church with less money because that church really needed it more. According to Jesse, that is the reason people don't believe in prosperity, because they've given their money to poor churches instead of rich churches. And what a disgusting comment to make. I honestly can't even believe this man can call himself a teacher of God's word and yet say all of this with a straight face. I mean, Jesse literally says it's not good for you to give to a church that's in need, because that would turn your offering into alms. But let's take a look at what the Bible says about this. In Romans 15, 26, Paul says, quote, For Macedonia and Achaia have been pleased to make some contribution for the poor among the saints at Jerusalem, end quote. 
So if we're not supposed to give money to churches that are in need, then why is Paul directly telling them here that he's on a trip to Jerusalem specifically in order to give money to members of a church that is in need? Well, maybe because Jesse Duplantis doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. So the second problem here is that Jesse is encouraging people to withhold money from churches that really need their help. And this brings me to point number three. Jesse then continues his tirade against giving people alms, and he says something truly remarkable. Watch this. That's why some people can make all kind of money and broke three years later. Because they will move not by obedience, not by generosity, not by faith and reward, but by compassion and sympathy. He says, that's why people can make a lot of money and be broke a few years later. Quote, because they moved not by obedience, not by generosity, not by faith and reward, but by compassion and sympathy. End quote. Yes, you heard that right. He literally said that if you don't give out of faith and reward in mind, and instead you give out of compassion and sympathy for others, then you're going to lose all your money. What on earth is this man saying? Nowhere does the Bible tell us not to be compassionate or sympathetic, especially where our money is concerned. 2 Corinthians 9-7 says this, quote, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So we know that giving comes from the heart, not from compulsion. That's the source of our giving. But then it gets even more interesting, because Colossians 3.12 says this, quote, Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, end quote. So if giving comes from our hearts, which biblically is the center of our motivations and wills, and we are told to have compassionate hearts, then this helps us to see Jesse's comments in an entirely new light. You see, he says that people who give out of compassion and sympathy won't be blessed. But the Bible specifically tells us to have compassionate hearts and to give money as we've decided in those compassionate hearts. In other words, the Bible says that Christians should give compassionately, but Jesse Duplantis says you shouldn't. So go ahead and choose who you're going to believe. You could believe the word of the living God, or, by contrast, you could believe a kooky false teacher with ridiculous ideas. The choice seems easy to me. So in conclusion, Jesse Duplantis is one of the most illogical and unbiblical false teachers I've ever seen. He literally makes things up for a living. That's what he does to make his money. He's a storyteller, not a biblical preacher. Jesse tells people that they should give money away with their rewards in mind. He tells Christians not to give to churches in need and also tells them not to give out of compassion. And finally, he says all of this despite the fact that a clear reading of scripture contradicts him at every turn. He's a false teacher and a prosperity gospel charlatan. But Jesse, if you happen to be watching this, please know that I love you and I'm not making this video as an attack. This video is fundamentally a warning to the church about false teaching. You can always repent of this and turn to Jesus Christ. So let's all pray that Jesse Duplantis would repent and turn to the truth of God's word. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss another one. If you didn't like that video for any reason, then I invite you to watch my Frequently Asked Questions video, link in description, where I deal with common objections and define the purpose and goal of my channel using scripture. This channel is funded by generous donations from my amazing patrons. If you'd like to help us put out more videos just like this one, hit the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash Colin A. Miller. You can donate to my ministry there and earn tons of rewards just like these. And until next time, fight for truth, never surrender and keep your eyes open. Thank you, and God bless.